What's up, y'all? It's Roz here, and I'm with 12-year NBA veteran Bismack Biombo. Biz, what's going on? How you been? I'm great. Finding some rhythm right now with the Suns. You know, last season, you joined them partway through the season. What's it like for you now that you start the season from the jump with them and kind of get some familiarity? How are you feeling? It's really great, to be honest, um, because last year, I understand what they were trying to accomplish based on the media. And, uh, <laughs> hey, no pointing fingers. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, you know, I'm just saying based on the media, you know. <laughs> Mikel down low, Biombo for the stuff. Last year, the, the whole idea was I want to join the team that really want to win it, you know. And so Phoenix was like at the top of the list, and then we'll kind of make it happen, and then come here, and then see how last year ended. And this is just to be able to have an opportunity to start from the beginning with everybody. Yeah, how how was it at the end of last season? What were those days like after the exit you guys had in the playoffs? I think for me it was tough. For me it was tough. Like the first three days, I mean that night we lost, I think I didn't go to sleep maybe until like four or five in the morning because mm -hmm. I was just like talking to people, seeing like, receiving I guess different critics and then going back watching highlights and film and and I think even the summertime I asked for the film and I kept watching it. But for the I think the first three days every time I watch it, I will uh I will get mad and then I'll go work out because it's some of the things that I can I can explain. And then you know every team in the league, you get this one bad game where you cannot connect. Like people can't connect, it's just an off night. And unfortunately that happened for us in game seven of the playoff, which was, you know, not good. But then it's also like you come around the city, the excitement about the possibility of winning a championship and that don't that that is not happening for the fans. So now it's like, man, what am I gonna tell this guy? I go into a restaurant, he's still asking me these questions that I can't even answer myself. What happened? Guys, I don't even know myself what happened, so <laughs> then I decided to go back to Miami and then just, just connect from the city. But, uh, and my teammate was like, yo, where are you? I'm in Miami. Already? I said, guys, <laughs> I don't know right. what you guys are doing. Y'all jealous that I'm in Miami and y'all are not. <laughs> but I can go to a restaurant right after the season. It was like the most difficult. Thing. Like in Toronto was the opposite. When we finished the season in Toronto, I I at least locked myself because I wanted to sleep and just recover from the whole season. But then I was okay going into restaurants because of the way the ending was. But this ending was just difficult to swallow for a while and then you keep pushing you to get back to work and improving. So I think everybody kind of was at the same place and coming back into this year, the desire of doing better, I think mm -hmm. it's what really motivated me to get back here. I didn't realize that there was so much awkward uh, pressure at restaurants for you. You know, like yeah, people you know, asking you all these just, Yeah, like, it's just all these questions I, I got, I can't even answer it myself, you know, so you know what, I just, you know, I just need to go somewhere, maybe the questions would be less, you know, and yeah. Uh, and I think a at the hoodie, end of it, maybe a hoodie, maybe you could wear a hat or something. No one would you know. know. Like I thought about this thing, but then the fans, <laughs> yeah, the fans have been so great here, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to at least have something to smile and cherish. So hiding from them, like into restaurants and sneaking in and out, I didn't feel comfortable. And to me, it just didn't make sense. So I was like, you know what? Life happened, and I got to learn that with my dad. You know, when he passed, like life happened. You're gonna fall sometimes, but we have to learn how to get back up. How would you describe this chapter, if you will, of your career? You know, there were definitely the Charlotte years, there were the Orlando years, there was even, you know, a, a moment in Toronto. What does this chapter in Phoenix represent for your career? At this point, you just want to win so bad. It's just a desire of saying, I want to win. I want to be able to say, look, rather is a good or bad ending. I put my 150% in, 
Now, if it work out the way I wish and desire for, great. If it doesn't work out, shit. I'll, I promise you next year, I'm still going to the restaurant and have one. I'll be fine. I just think in general, you have very, you've always had a very mature perspective. I, I, I know that, and you mentioned earlier, um, your father, you know, he passed away due to complications from COVID in, in August of 2021. And you decided to take some time away from basketball. And as we talk about the perspective that you have and the maturity, during that time that you stepped away, like how, what did you reflect on? What, what became important to you outside of basketball? Yeah, I think my family and personally healing from the trauma that happened in life, because I think as men, especially African men, as you know, we always the tough guys, right? And we always absorb sometimes, no, always, a lot of times we absorb more than we're supposed to, and we never heal from it. So to me, if one thing I learned at least towards the end of my dad's life was that we are human, and when trauma happened, you have to heal properly so that you can keep enjoying this beautiful life that God has given us. And God has really put me in the right spot with the right people and my faith has grown so much that, you know, I'm in a better place. So I'm I'm grateful that, you know, I did that because otherwise I'll be sitting here and, and lying to people about my emotions, which I didn't want to do. Yeah, no, I absolutely am here for and uh, applaud your clarity and, you know, your willingness to look at self and work on self.